Oh man, that would do me an absolute treat. Waking up, you got your small balcony, look. Looking out over that. That there is one of the oldest universities in Thailand. In fact, I think it's the oldest university for agriculture in Thailand, if I'm not very much mistaken. So, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from a little town just outside of Chiang Mai. We are in the town of Mei Jo, or as the Thais would say, Mei Cho. And we've come to check this place out, so I've never really done a little tour in Mei Jo. So we're going to go and have a look around the town. It's only a small place, this is not the main town. I thought I'd stop off at the famous university first, which is... I think the students are out of term. I think you can go in there, there's loads of stuff to do, but we're not doing that. But we're going to go back into the town, have a look around, and see if Mei Jo is somewhere I could live in the future because I'm looking at places a little bit out of the city see what we think of it and see if this is a place for expats or see if I could live here and maybe see if you could live here as well they got oh nearly getting run over here look mate he's on the pavement got all your food because yeah this is a big university when it's in turn loads of people right so welcome to May Cho. So I've just come down from the university. We ain't gonna be stuck for coffee in May Cho, that's for sure. When you come to Chiang Mai and live in Chiang Mai, all you hear about is May Cho University and you know it's um it's famous, it's well known, and it's beautiful kept. It's a big old place. I can't ever recall being here. I've never seen the university before. I've probably been through here. A few times because we are in the Sansai district so I've been through Sansai a lot of times but um, yes yeah, not so um, it's not so crazy as like me rim is it you're on a road here but it's not hectic Let's see what this dog's doing a minute letting me pass no Look. Little whippersnappers <laughs> all ready to do me ankle in. Yeah, really liking the vibe of May Cho. I don't think there's hell of a lot of um English or foreigners about. This lady do the mangoes look. Mango. Ooh. Uh C sip, one kilo. See sip ha, okay. <laughs> See sip ha, you can get your mangoes. It's not a bad deal at all. And yeah, and if you didn't know, it is stifling, and I'm out. And it is about 12:30 in the afternoon, 40 C. It is hot to trot. It's smoked out as well, guys. Today is a bad one. You cannot see nothing. But he's out. I'm out, mate. Hey, look at this. How's about this for a snazzy um, KFC lit? That's snazzed right up, isn't it? That has got to be the coolest KFC I've ever seen. I've got to have a look in there. Yeah, KFC, man. That is like the coolest. <laughs> Never seen one like that. Or is that the new norm? So we are 25 minutes north. I didn't say like what side we was, some of you don't know. We are north, not sort of northeast of the city, north of the city. Hey, you got a little marketplace here. I don't think this is the main market. This looks like it is going to be the nighttime one. More than likely, nighttime market. See cheap rooms in there two or three thousand I reckon basic like when I say like two or three thousand I'm talking just like a room 
where students stay and this place is going to be full of full of cheap rooms because in the night time here they have a massive market when the uh when the uni's on as well they have a massive big night market which would have been good but yeah we come in the daytime instead so we're not gonna do a nighttime one maybe we'll do a nighttime one again in the future uniforms everywhere uniform shops right we are in the heart of Mejo. hello swadi cap sabadi mai go have a look at this little market now we're here then we're going to walk out the back a bit so i've seen a temple down there and we'll just see what it's like out the back so you've only got a small little setup here look hello miss sabadi mai she sells all the lovely yeah roy fruit and veg beautiful <laughs> they're tiny look isn't it tiny little market really so what we're gonna do we're gonna walk out hello so i don't think i have ever been to may cho nothing looks familiar so what i want to do in a minute is cut down yeah cut down see if we can see any rooms or anything out the back so they're not going to walk down too far right then dudes we're taking it to the back streets we're taking these show to the heart of me Cho. hello miss so friendly as well where did I see it? Down here, I'm going down here. Yes. Yeah, so not a lot to it. There's a couple more places we're going after this. That I want to check out. man it's even got a gin let's have a look let's see if I can have a look shall us a condo in May Cho with a gym and there's some more over there look hey I'm enjoying myself I'm back out on the road again I like this area as well look got like your looks like some nicer condos there got some cheap rooms here you got your washing here you got some coffee shops and restaurants here I'm gonna see if we can have a look what's the gym like not bad not bad not bad no no dumbbells no bench which is a bit of a bummer but um, it wouldn't be too hard to get to the gym here, would it? There'd be a gym nice and handy. Ah. Closed. Ah, that's a bummer, isn't it? Yeah, you have to call it or message. That's a bit of a bummer. Would have been good to look at a room, wouldn't it? Ah. See, that is 
that is the only thing with places like this. There's never anyone about. Ah, so the girl just told me. The girl living here. She couldn't speak English, but she put it on her phone. So room here, guys. The price she's paying, 3,200 baht. That's what she showed me. Um, I would say, because you're not in Chiang Mai city as well, I would say it will be around that for, for a franc as well. And, and I just said to her, studio, small room? She said, yes, just, just a studio. 3,200. You would probably get it around that, maybe 3,500. So, yeah, cheap, right? Wish I could go in and have a look, man. But um, I've been here long enough where I sort of know what they're gonna look like. I reckon a little bit old. You got your small balcony there. I tell you what, now we're here. Let's just see if we can see any others here. See, this is like dirt cheap. This is like dirt cheap student living so I'm not sure if I could stay in these full time you know when I go traveling and out I can for a couple of nights but um yeah I'm not so sure about living see that over there that's 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 like my building now that is like my place it suddenly it started to grow on me this part here this part here looks it's perfect cozy burger grill so there's another place there that looks a bit a little bit old get your cof coffee here get your cafe I think coffee ye sip latte <laughs> it feels like we're out in the middle of nowhere doesn't it look right we're gonna go back and get the bike man then we're gonna carry on around Let's bounce. Yeah, really like this area. I've took the um, took the Facebook page and stuff and a line ID just in case. Right, so we're just gonna have a burn through here. See what's about. Yeah, it's a very quiet little, little town. So, I've headed a bit deeper into Mejo and I've come across these little places, look. And like, this is what I love, places like this. If I was, like, I could live in somewhere like this and it's gone really dark, man, overcast. And they're little bungalows. Little tiny bungalow. I'm just waiting for a dog to come running out. That's what usually happens. And there's some, they look like some better ones next door as well. So I thought I'd just stop off. We're going to this, um, the Godfather place. And I think it's closed, but I still want to see it. Uh, Godfather restaurant. It's got like the Godfather sign all up outside and everything. So that's what we're going to see. Hey, I look. Yeah, these. Perfect, look, aren't they? Perfect, mate. So we've got all the cameras up. I'm not sure if anybody's around. See, this would do me something like this. It really would. I could live somewhere like this. You know, cause you ain't got the neighbours, you know. You got, you got some space in between the neighbours and... Yeah, man, I could, I could definitely live in one of these. See this, yeah, this is what I would rather have, something like this. My own small bungalow rather than a room, I think. See, so, yeah, you got it all there. The number's up in there as well, so it's all in Thai. Listen to that sound of peace and quiet. You can't beat that peace and quiet. You can't put a price on that peace and quiet. Right, let's get to the Godfather. There you go, look. Be perfect, wouldn't it? That 
absolute perfect. Hey, it's raining. Feel a spot of rain. Oh, it's nice to be out again. Oh, it's nice to be out of that city. Oh my days. I want to look at that place. I want to look at this place. Oh, this place looks good. This place looks a dazzler. Oh, I like it, man. I like it. Who's about? Anybody about? Is anybody here? Hey, I like this, don't you? This should be a cool place to live. You got some smaller rooms outside as well, look. This would be a good place. Me, Joe, not too bad, you know. Ah, man, gutted. The rooms are full. Took 10 minutes through Google Translate. They're all full. Um, I'm not sure. I think they are. Sometimes they don't want Frangs <laughs> staying in places. Not in a bad way, but once you get out of the city more rural, they would rather have some ties staying, I think. But look, they look really nice, don't they? Really nice. Right, let's get going. Here it is, look, the Godfather Chiang Mai Bar and Restaurant. Closed, isn't it? I'm gonna go and have a look though. And um, yeah, we've stumbled across another villa. Chiang Mai Garden Villa. <laughs> and this place don't half look bad either. So, let's see if somebody's around there after. I just want to see this Godfather place. It's so quiet out here. There they got all the names as well. <laughs> Kuzi, Chris the Don, Michael Colioni. I can't remember the film now. Hello. Yeah, it's good. You know, open now. No open. Five o'clock. Okay. I can have a look. Thank you. So they're open at five o'clock guys. And yeah, I've heard good things about it. And the guy said we can just have a look here. It's got all the photos up, look. And it's, um, yeah, cool, right? Cool. Is your favorite movie? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, is your business? Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been open here? One year plus. One year, okay. Ooh, I can have a look. Thank you so much. So he said we can have a look inside, guys. Oh, hello. Hello, you. Oh, you okay? It's okay. <laughs> right, so we're in the Godfather Bar and Restaurant. Before it's even open. UK time. Ten past twelve back home, is it? That time already, is it? It's definitely different, isn't it? Different, man. Godfather. So yeah, it's only a small place, look. You can go up there and sit as well. He's done it out really nice though, right? So they do have a live band here as well. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> 
Marlon Brando. I've not seen it for so long. I'm gonna have to watch it again. Uh, look how many he's got, loads of it. The Godfather, Chang Mai. It's not personal, Sonny, it's strictly business. There you go, so if anybody wants to come out here, the Godfather Bar and Restaurant. I will leave the Google map under my video. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You've been here before? Uh, never. I, f I come to look at May Joe today and I seen your place and it looked interesting. <laughs> so I knew you was closed, but I just wanted to come and have a look. Okay. And um, so you open 5 to 12, 12 every day? Except Tuesday. Except Tuesday, okay. And you get a lot of people out here? Yeah. Okay, I'll come out one night. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to come out one night. Maybe sit out here. Look, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, I wasn't expecting to go in to have a look, so happy days, man. Yeah, so now we're going to go down to the lake and get a, get a green tea. There's a lake not far from here. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I was not expecting... May Cho to be like so far out. It feels like you're in in Payao or something, but you're not. So yeah, we're gonna get a drink here. I've had this one on the map. It's all in toilet. That just proves not many, not many foreigners come here, mate. Not many tourists come out here. <laughs> oh yes, that is a bit of me. Hey, that's better than the San Patong one. You know, I really am surprised just how much food and drink there is out here. That's because of the um, of the uni. Yeah, look at this. Look. <laughs> Hello, sir. Take your hat off. Happy days, look. And it all looks like your cheap stuff here as well. So I've got my latte, 60 baht. And um, yeah, I'm chuffed to come out here, guys. It's, it's really chill and nice. The guy said you can go all the way around. One kilo, so that's what we're gonna do after. And he said there's some nice houses down here that I can see already. So we're going to go and have a look at that. And hey, it's not a bad old life, is it? Not a bad old life. You can sit up like these ladies down here as well, lit. On the side there. Sort of eating already, but I had to order off this lady. And God knows what I'm ordering. All I said is, it's not pig head, pork head or chicken feet, is it? She said no. Whacked out a Bobby Dazzler, look. Fried rice. Fried rice and pork. 25 baht 25 nicker <laughs> you can't grumble with that can you So now I'm going to show you my new place. I found a new place here and yeah, I'm going to move in. So I'm going to show you. It's a little bit of a downgrade. <coughs> look at this, look, eh? 
This is beautiful, isn't it? Right on the lake, look. Right outside the lake in May, Joe. Man, yeah, these are beautiful, look. Wowzers, man. It's a beautiful estate, isn't it? Wow. God, yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. Get back down on the path before... Before I get in trouble here. Look, May Cho, man. Damn, they are nice. At night time, that would be amazing, man. <laughs> God, yeah, I really like it. I like, obviously, that's probably a little bit out of my price range, but is it? We are in Thailand, after all. You just never know, do you? But, um... Maybe I could stretch to one of them, you know? If I um, emptied the old, the old piggy bank. Look at these, look. Hello. Hello. Sabadi so mai. Ready for home. <laughs> look at these, man. Oh, mate, that'll do me. that do me a treat. That's all I need, man. That's all I need. Oh, mate. I've never seen one like that. It's like a container, right? But different. I like this one here. Oh, tripping over the um, building work here. Look at this one here, look. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, man. That would do me an absolute treat. Waking up, you got your small balcony, look. Looking out over that. So what do you get? It's just like a studio, sort of. You get a small kitchen. Bedroom, somewhere to sit in your balcony. That's all I need, mate. <laughs> That's incredible. I love these, man. This has gave me an idea, mate. I'm gonna look into these vessel things. Could buy one of these somewhere, look. I think I prefer this one than that one, don't you? I prefer the one, the little tiny one. Yeah, they cool, man. I like them. I've never seen anything in that style. I've seen the containers. I could see me. It's where they cap. Oh, it's hotel. You cannot buy them. Cannot buy? Buy from uh, China. They're imported from China. 150,000 baht. So, what are we talking? Three grand? Something around that? You can have one of these. And she said 7% import tax and getting it over it from China. It's, it's piddling down. Hey, oh, get undercover. It's absolutely tipping down. 150,000 baht. So that is going to be a hotel, guys. And it's 10,000 baht a night to stay there. I, I had to say to her, you mean 2,000? She said, no, 10,000. So, what's that, 200 odd pound a night? Surely that can't be right. But, um, yeah, the container, 150,000 baht. And look, it is absolutely tipping down. You can have your romantic out in the boat. We got a thunderstorm. You can take your missus out there, you can stay in your container. I've had a ruddy good day, I have. I've had a great day. I've never been to Mei Cho properly before. You can sit in the bubble, you can sit in the... Sit in the chair here, look. Get out of the rain for a minute. <sighs> Happy days. <laughs> oh, I could live here. 
obviously it'd be a bit more expensive down here at the lake side but you could live a little bit further back there come down here you could go into the city a couple times a week so I'm not sure if I even said this name it's called Lake View the lake's called Lake View and that's called Lake View Cafe but I'll put it up on the screen as well at the beginning yeah it's called Lake View so um yeah with the rain in the clouds it's turned out beautiful mate turned out perfect for getting out and about it's better than blazing sun look you can just come down here and chill See, this is going to be one big estate look. They got one finished. And the boys are on this one. Be cool to have a look. Look at that. That's somebody in there. Somebody lives there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ah, your house. Oh my god, nice. Yeah, so lady lives in there. Lucky lady, man. I was thinking about asking to go in. I thought, nah, that's, that's a bit cheeky, isn't it? You can't ask that. So definitely leaving it there, guys. I'm going back to Central Festival and have a look around. It's about 25 minutes and I really loved it here. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog, man. It's been a cool day out, a little bit different again. Another area that not many people have seen. So yeah, I'm impressed with May Joe and i will be back here again and yeah this one's jotted down you never know so i'm gonna stop waffling and i'm gonna get out of here before it tips down with rain again hope you're all safe and sound as always guys and i will see you in the next one so take it easy man take it easy <laughs>